Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, those of you who have hands free, please put them together for the West Lake Dogs Play Team. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, as you see, we put a few of our agility equipment pieces out in the arena, give you some idea of what agility is all about. We're not going to be here to train you, to train your dog, to train to do agility. We want to show you that any dog, big or small, can do agility. On the standing table is our youngest pairing, not the nanny, <laughs> though it is her birthday today. Happy birthday, Lynn. This is Ethan. Ethan's seven years old, and the Great Dane is Luna. Um, Ethan's only seven. His main problem is that Luna is totally deaf. So to uh, train a dog with hand signals, and also deaf dogs do pick up on vibrations, is a challenge in itself. Being seven years of age is another challenge as well. So uh, this is our youngest pairing. It doesn't always go right, so, but give him a bit of slack because he is trying really hard. And Luna is totally deaf. Away we go! Just to give you some information, Lynn has two other great names. Both of them are almost pure white and both of them are totally deaf as well. Quite often we find uh, white dogs, like white boxers, etc. They could be deaf, it's something to do with the genes, I'm not quite too sure. But, uh, uh. And once again, please remember, he's only seven years of age and Luna is totally, totally, totally deaf. Only picking up on hand signals and vibrations in the air. Now the weaving frame isn't built for Great Danes, we know this, so uh, take a little bit of time there to go through. Give them a round of applause. Seven years of age, hey, deaf dog, Ethan and Luna. Recognisable as the Gypsy Dog, this is Wendy and Ben, then as a border colleague. They are probably the most uh, well-known dogs in the agility world. Border Collies and Border Collie crosses seem to... Uh, <laughs> takes years of training to get them to do that. After the weaving frame, give a round of applause. That's Wendy and Ben. One dog's difficult, two dogs even more difficult. This is Sharon with Wilma and Helga. Helga's the big German Shepherd and Wilma's the uh, little Sheltie. Now German Shepherds can do great agility, so the little Shelties. Uh, now sometimes we get two dogs on the seesaw, sometimes only the one. Go on Wilma, you're not missing that piece of equipment out. A lot of dogs don't like the seesaw. It gives them a bit of a jolt. And once you go through the weaving frame, it's made for small dogs, fast dogs and big dogs as well. Give her an applause. Two for the price of one there. Sharon with Wilma and Helga. Far side here, this is Brian and Jet. Jess is a Labrador Cross Rottweiler. Not quite sure whether he's called Jet because he's Jet Fast or he's Jet because he's Jet Black. And for the weaving frame there, very nice indeed. Give a round of applause, Brian and Jet. On the far side there, this is Helen with Milo. Milo's a Labradoodle. Labradoodles come in all shapes and sizes, but yes, well, mind that hole. <laughs> the extra bottle of Yoka last night didn't do you any good, did it? And through the weaving frame there, very nicely done indeed. Give a round of applause. Hello there, Milo! This is Louisa Monty. Monty's a pure-blooded, pure-bred Labrador. They've been wearing holiday for a couple of weeks in the Cornish Ring. <laughs> hey, Monty, that's just showing off. That's just showing off, that one. We know Labradors are eating machines with a leg in each corner, but it's nice to see a very nice and trim one. And for the weaving frame there, after his holiday has forgotten nothing, give a round of applause, Louisa Monty! And over there, this is Sue Wick. And uh, Lizzie, Lizzie's a Labrador Ross Spaniel. People say, oh, she's, she's a very small Labrador. That's why, because she's a cross tree. Yeah, we like to show diversity of breeds. Not everyone thinks that just border collies can do agility. Any dog can do agility. We used to have a three-legged dog on the team years ago. Loved doing agility. 
Give her a round of applause. That's Sue and Lizzie. On the standing table over there, we have Angela and Jasmine. Jasmine's a boxer. Never seen a lot of boxers doing agility. Hello, I like you. Boxers are also very nosy as well. They like to see what's going on. <laughs> they are a nosy breed, nosy breed. Angel actually has three boxers. We won't talk about the other two puppies. But they seem to destroy things as you speak. One of them, Ruby, actually ate a bag of cement the other day. Has all the food and drink they could possibly want, but she decided to eat a bag of cement. Don't you just love dogs? And for the weaving friend there, give her a round of applause to Angela and Jasmine! Once again, this is Sue and Betty. And here once again is a Labrador Cross Spaniel. Very easily indeed over that big A frame. It's nice to have some sunshine in October, isn't it? Once you get through the weaving frame there, very happy dog indeed. Give her a round of applause, Sue and Betty! Now we know all dogs can jump, but quite often we have just to lower them down a bit to make sure the dogs can jump safely. <laughs> this is Julian Tia. Tia Teapot, she loves her full English, as you can see. I don't know whether she can get up the A-frame today. She's had next to a piece of black pudding for breakfast. Oh, yeah. Hey, helping hand there. No problem at all. Tia's a rescue dog. A few years ago, she was not a happy camper at all. Oh, uh, that's cheating. Uh, Julie, do you see that? That's cheating. Uh, for the weaving frame there, no problem at all. She's had the extra piece of black pudding today. It's Tia Teapot. And give our children the dogs a big round of applause. Give you some idea of how much fun you can have with your four ribbon three legged friend. <laughs> oh, unlucky. Give her a round of applause. Don't go back to the gateway where you came. Who's next? Come, sweetheart. Come on, come on, come on. She won't hurt you. She won't bite you. She won't do anything. All she wants to do is stop that ball. Kick it whenever you can. Oh. There's a bit of rubbish. Yes, that's true. You literally just should pick me. Give it a big kick. Oh, I'm lucky. Give a round of applause. Oh, almost through there. Hello, come on, sweetheart. What's your name? Kira. Kira. Okay, come this way, Kira. Dog football. I'll have to teach you how to throw a ball properly. I know you can't. I've noticed. All right, Kira, give it a big kick. Big kick. Big kick. Top it. You can have another go. Will you please keep your dog still? It's not supposed to move till the ball is kicked. You tell her, she's not my dog. Top bins. <laughs> I'm sorry about this. This is supposed to be a well-trained dog. It's supposed to be a well-trained dog. Now try again. Oh, unlucky. Give her a Kira round of applause. Oh. Hey, mate, what's your name? James. You like football? Who do you support? Everton, okay. Ooh. Okay. Wait. Go in top right. Okay, James, any time today. Top in. James, kick it, kick it, kick it. Oh, what a save! You thought that was it, didn't you? Yeah, what a save. Well done. Hi, mate, what's your name? Harry, do you like football? Who do you support? Support Barcelona. Okie dokie. Hola. Come here, come, come. Listen, listen to me. You don't need to run up. It's only a dog. Just kick it. Oh, what a save. Oh, I'm lucky, mate. Oh, Barcelona. Hey, mate, what's your name? Jacob. Jacob, do you like football? Who do you support? Liverpool. Okay, Jacob. It's only a dog. Just give it a big kick. Oh, it's Hold on a minute. What have I got for you, Jacob? Something in my pocket. Toppings. Look at that. Hey, key ring. With the dog that you beat. Give a round of applause for Jacob. And a big round of applause for Helga, the world famous goalkeeping. Well, sometimes goalkeeping dog. Most of the time, just wandering around dog. As you can see, it's death defying. It's stunningly dangerous. 
Away we go. There goes Brian and Jet. Yes, we have had broken noses before now. There goes Milo. Wow, we up. Up. You lost your halo there. There goes Betty and there goes Lizzie. There's the dad moving around the arena, Rob. Stay still. There goes Helga and there goes Wilma. Get a round of applause. Our back jumping dogs. Very brave, uh, brave volunteers. There goes little Bradley, little toy poodle. There goes Tia. Oh, Brad. Oh. Bradley, what are you doing? There goes Wilma and Helga. There goes Milo. There goes Lizzie and Betty, Betty and Lizzie. And there goes Monty, and there goes Boo. There goes Jasmine, the boxer. Nice to see boxer with tail. And there goes Ben. Can he do 360? He's done it there. 360, 720. Now, of course, we want to make it a little bit more difficult. We get the dogs just to stand. Or lie down, as the case may be. Now, of course, the canine doesn't really like lying down. It's a bit... A, a bit... Do we know what we're doing? No, we don't know what we're doing. We haven't got a Scooby-Doo. We... It's sit down stand. Away we go. There goes Tia. There goes Wilma and Helga. How long's that tail, Helga? There goes Milo. Helga wants that football again. There goes Jet. Don't forget this microphone is live. Thank you very much. And there goes Monty and Boo. And there's Jasmine, the boxer. And there's Ben, the border collie. Yeah, we can do 360. Oh, yeah, 1,080 straight away through. But of course, to make life real difficult, this is what we do. We make the dog stand. Uh, uh, Wilma, Wilma, that's just showing off. That is just showing off that. And there goes Milo, Labadoodle. There goes Jet, the Labrador Ross Rottweiler. There goes Lizzie, Lizzie and Betty, Betty and Lizzie. And there goes Monty. I like Monty. I'll just go after him. Well, he's my friend. I do like Monty. And there goes Boo. Monty! Monty! I've lost my mum. <laughs> and last but no means least, there goes Ben the Border Collie. Let's give him a round of applause. Our hoopy dooper dogs! Right, yeah. And away we go. There goes Tia there. She's had a full English plus a... Come on, Wilma, get with the programme. There goes Wilma and Helga. And there goes Jet. There goes uh, Jasmine. And there goes Boo. It may not be very simple, but it does actually help the dogs when they're doing their, their big agility on the big course. There goes Ben, the border collie. And a 360 just to finish with. Who else have we got? We all done it. Oh, here comes Luna. Don't forget, Luna is totally deaf. Ethan is only seven years of age. What did you get the round of applause? Our Hooper Dooper Dogs are our very, 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 very brave volunteers. <laughs> I see. Keep the paws dry. Use the ladder to walk across our team members' backs. Yes. Oh, there goes little Wilma there. Oh, give a round of applause to Betty, Lizzie, Lizzie and Betty, Wilbur and Tia. Thanks for that, John. And I bring you fire. Away we go. Here goes Sharon with Wilbur and Helga. There goes Wendy with Ben. There goes Helen with Milo.
There goes Angela with Jasmine. There goes Vicky with Boo. Go on, Boo. Well done. Two out of four. There goes Louise there with Monty. There goes Betty and Lizzie. Lizzie and Betty. Still burning, we'll throw the dog through one more time. There goes Wilma and Helga. There goes Wendy and Sam. There goes Helen with Milo. And there goes Boo once again. Straight away through those fire jumps. There goes Mochi. There goes Lizzie and Betty and Betty and Lizzie. We've got a course enough, we've got our smallest dog on the team today, which is the TNT Pot. We've got a the course, there's Luna, seven years of age with Ethan. Let's jump on to go, give it up to them, the Fire Dog! Show your appreciation for some of the team members for the Westlake Dog Display Team! Once again, show your appreciation for the West Ham Dogs Play Team and all our canine stars. Handlers aren't bad either sometimes. Don't look at me like that, Mrs. Right, now we're going to work things well. We're going to clear the arena, so as soon as that's clear and everything is safe, we'll commence the fun dog show. So you have at least 10 minutes if you haven't entered that.